guys, Mars Thinking here, bringing you another Dragon Ball Z Dokkan Battle video. And so the 77 unit banner is out on JP. I don't know what the official name for this is or what the community name for it is, because obviously in the previous years we've just called it like the 55 ticket banner or the 66 ticket banner. Um, but obviously there's only going to be 50 tickets this year for the ticket version. Uh, obviously the ticket version is up, but you can't actually get all the tickets uh, yet. But as always with the anniversary the stone version of the banner is up as well and it is available to be summoned on straight away once only now it is 300 stones this year in comparison to 200 and uh, i can already hear free to play players gasping uh, when they open up the game and see this but obviously you have to bear in mind the amount of value in total that that is right because 300 stones is the equivalent of six multis which of course would be 60 units so you're getting 77 units instead so 17 extra units almost two full multis for free basically and the big deal with this banner is that it is three lrs guaranteed so the big question is whether or not to summon on this banner. I know a bunch of people have put videos out already. Uh, Truth did. I think Truth did this last year for the global uh, version. And I made like a kind of like a response video to it. Um, because I know in his video he was saying that like you absolutely should summon on this. And I do agree. Um, but I feel like he didn't really provide the caveat that I would add to that. Which is you should absolutely summon on this banner if you have the 300 stones spare after you summon on the anniversary banners because the anniversary banners are obviously not out yet we don't know exactly what they look like but obviously they are going to have some fire units on them so this is obviously the banner from last year i'm not going to bring up both of them because obviously most of them just have units that are the equivalent of each other but this is the ui goku banner so Let's say, for example, this is the Super Saiyan God, Goku, and Vegeta banner. There's going to be a side banner unit. We have no idea what that is yet until the data download and the live stream. But as always, the data download is coming first. So that will spoil everything. So make sure you stay away from Twitter or social media in general if you want to watch the live stream and not be spoiled. Um, but yeah, we're going to have the new unit and a side banner unit. Then we get, this is the first banner where the... Um, download celebration LRs return so for the very first time so this banner whether it's going to be Namek Goku or full power freezer this banner is going to have one of them on it and then of course the other banner will have the other one uh, then we had the previous uh, download celebration uh, unit from the one before that so obviously this would probably be Boo Tanks and Super Vegito again in this slot still both very very good units very relevant in today's meta both super good in long events um, you know, considering we've got the new event for the anniversary, which is sort of a long form event. It's not as long, but obviously you do get multiple turns. It's got multiple phases. So units that are good in long form events are obviously going to be good there. Um, so they are pretty solid. And then we have the anniversary unit, not from the previous anniversary, but one before that. So in all likelihood, this means that for the seventh anniversary, this slot is going to be taken up by the fifth anniversary units, which of course are the STR Gogeta that transforms to blue and then Vegito that transforms to blue as well. I assume that the Gogeta one is going to be on the God Goku and Vegeta one since it matches obviously the movie that they come from and then the Vegito being on the um, Super Saiyan 4 banner is kind of a bit weird but obviously they don't always match up exactly so the banners are obviously going to be very very good so your primary concern should be summoning on these banners now obviously if you are a free to play player or somebody who doesn't spend very much I always talk about this when I make my like summon or skip videos for the various banners throughout the year you should should have been carefully saving until times like this like if you're a JP player you obviously have a much bigger gap between the anniversary and the download celebration those are like the two big events that you should be saving for so you should have hopefully a decent amount of stones saved up but 300 is a pretty significant chunk of those stones and whilst you are getting guaranteed value that is six more multis that you could do on the actual anniversary banners. And bear in mind, of course, the anniversary Dokkan Fest banners are always three plus one multis. So those uh, 300 stones are actually going to get you eight multis uh, across these banners. So that means you could do a full set of three plus one 
one on each banner, basically. So four multis on each banner gives you a chance to potentially pull the new units. Now, obviously, nothing is guaranteed if you do that. So you could get incredibly unlucky. Um, those of you familiar with my channel will know my despair arc during the sixth anniversary on Global. It took me over 4,000 stones to pull a copy of Blue Evolution Vegeta. So just because you save your 300 stones for the LR banner of your choosing, it doesn't mean you are actually going to pull the unit. But you don't want to be that person who summons on the 77 unit banner right now and then these banners drop later. You go through all of your stones and if you are, like maybe if you spend a little bit, you go through all the money that you're willing to spend and you still haven't pulled either or just one. Like maybe you pull one but it wasn't the one you wanted the most. Maybe you don't pull either of them and then you've got no stones left to summon for the actual anniversary LRs. So... I do think the banner is super, super worth summoning on, but I definitely think you need to prioritize the Dokon Fest banners uh, first of all. Because if we have a look at this banner, uh, the featured units, some of them are really good. Like we're seeing a lot of the 40% uh, side banner units. Not you, Piccolo, you're terrible. Third form Freezer's really good. Cell's really good. Gotenks, Scarlet Jr. TN's good. He's obviously not as varied as a support. He's only super tight Margin Buu Saga. And then we got um, Power Absorption for this guy. He's pretty good. Supreme Kai's really good. Used him in some of the no-item runs for ESBR. Uh, obviously, we just got Easy A's for 21 and uh, 16. They're pretty good. So some of these featured units, I mean, they're not great, obviously. Some of them are. Some of them are, but some of them aren't. And then, of course, the unfeatured pool is just the normal unfeatured pool, right? So every SSR that is available that is uh, just in the general unfeatured pool. And, as always with these kinds of banners, the LRs are in here, and you could pull any of these not in the guaranteed 3 LR spot. So, somebody out there is going to get insane luck and pull like 5 or 6 LRs in their 77 unit multi. But, the one thing about this that adds a lot of value, because, you know, you might be thinking like, oh, I did my uh, summon, you know, on the New Year step up to get a guaranteed LR, and I got like, you know, Tech Goku Black. Goku Black and Zamasu, who still don't have an easy A, so are still a very bad pull currently. But this banner works slightly differently in that the LRs have been divided into tiers. So what this is basically saying is that the 75th unit of the multi is going to be from tier A, B or C. 76 is going to be from A or B, and then 77 is only going to be from A. So these units here, up until we get down to here, this is tier A. So the final unit of the multi is only going to be one of these LRs. Now obviously, some of these are still way worse than some of the other ones, but it means you're not going to pull like physical trunks or something as your final guaranteed LR. I did see a screenshot of a multi earlier where the last two units were both God Goku and Hit, which arguably the best unit in the banner i mean god goku and hit this exchange vegeta goku's insanely good krillin and gohan are good uh gen ember's really good um super 17 whilst being wonkily designed got a big buff with all the android stuff that came out recently gohan is still good turles is still good obviously ui is still good like a lot of these units are very good and because they're separated into tiers you're not going to pull like you know, these guys three times at the end. Now, as you can see, the lower tiers, the lower like numbers include the higher tiers. So for your 75th and 76th unit, you could get LRs from the top tier and actually get three of the better selection of LRs. So obviously, as with anything, RNG still plays a huge factor. Off the top of my head, I would imagine the worst pull is probably something like the physical androids, because they desperately need an easy A. And then from the tier B, like Trunks and Mai, and then tier C, probably Tech Goku Black, um, obviously as we await his E. Because all three of them are LRs that desperately need an easy A before they would be useful. So bear in mind, you do run the risk of that happening to you, and then that probably would be considered 300 stones wasted. But um, either way, it's like any banner, right? Like if you're summoning on the actual Dokon Fest banners, like I said, you could put in 300 stones and pull absolutely nothing. Whereas this way, at least you are guaranteed some LRs. So I personally think that as long as you have 300 stones, once you've pulled uh, your copies of the new LRs, then this is a must summon. Uh, for people who don't have like a huge amount of stones, if you get really lucky and you pull the two new Dokon Fest LRs quite early on, 
and then you summon until you have like 300 stones left, then I would say it's definitely worth summoning on this. But bear in mind, you can wait right up until the end of the anniversary because this banner is going to be up for a long time. Like almost, it's actually over an entire month. And obviously new events are going to come out in part two and three, as well as all of the events that came out today, which means a lot more free stones are going to be available as well. So even if you spend all the stones you have right now on the actual Dokon Fest banners, chances are you're going to be able to get up to 300 stones again by the end of the anniversary anyway. So let me know what you guys think down below. What are your plans? I'm sure some of you out there who spend a lot or just, you know, like to wail like crazy have probably done this summon already. So let me know how that went for you. And let me know what your plans are when it comes to whether you're going to summon on this banner or not so uh, obviously as a content creator slash mini whale once it comes to global i definitely will summon on this but i will probably do it right at the start as well just for the content but let me know what you guys plan to do and if you are a global player let me know your thoughts because obviously this is all going to be mostly the same when it comes to global anyway so that is going to be it for the video guys this has been the master again smash that like button subscribe to the channel if you are new check out the links down below for the discord and the merch store and i will see you all again soon have a good one